Let's start by creating the onboarding flow. And we're going to go to flows. And we're going to create a new flow from scratch. The purpose of this flow would be to build trust, to increase the customer retention and therefore the CLV, to eliminate the buyer's remorse and to create brand connection. Let's name this flow onboarding and we're going to create it. Now the trigger for this flow would be segment and that would be new passion. We're going to search in here for new passion. Now, keep in mind, uh, you would have to actually build your own segment in Clavio and uh, you have a link to the video tutorial that shows you how to do that in this video's description. For onboarding, you should select your new passion RFM group uh, and maybe your apprentice RFM group as well. Keeping in mind that the difference between the two is that the new passion are new customers at their first or maybe second order, but with a very high monetary value, as opposed to the apprentice that are at their first or second order, but have a low monetary value. So uh, for this example, I'm just selecting the new passion. I'm imagining I have a lot of them. So I just want to create a flow just for these customers that have a very high value. Let's see what we're going to do next. Now, uh, keeping in mind that in here you have customers that are at their first and also their second order, there's going to be a difference in the email flow that you're going to send to a first time customer where you really want to, first of all, eliminate that buyer's remorse, create a bit of brand awareness, um, send uh, educational material before you start pushing on that second sale. And once the customer is on the second order, uh, the purpose is to continue creating the brand awareness, uh, introducing them to maybe uh, the loyalty program and benefits of it, uh, and uh, getting them to tighten the connection with the brand so you can actually get them to the third order and uh, start creating that habit uh, of repeat purchase. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to split by the number of uh, orders delivered. And we're going to do that. I'm just going to click done here by adding a conditional split. And in here, we're going to select properties about someone. And for the dimension, we're going to search for RVL delay delivered orders count equals one and we're gonna save now on yes i'm gonna have that flow for the first time customers on no i'm gonna have the flow for the second time customers a very important thing to keep in mind is that uh, in reveal customers show up and uh, have an rfm score the moment uh, their orders uh, are being mapped as delivered, which for example, for Shopify would mean uh, Shopify status fulfilled. So uh, you have to keep in mind that they will start entering this flow after the order has been fulfilled in Shopify, or if your shop is a custom shop after you're sending us the order as delivered via your feeds. Let's say that's a first time customer. We're gonna have a first email uh, that's gonna be the onboarding email so email number one and then we're gonna add some time delays keeping in mind we want to create a flow that is not overwhelming they're not receiving emails every single day you want to end up towards the end of the flow you want to end up in that part where you're actually going to offer an incentive for a next order, but you don't want to do this too soon. So in order to figure out when it's time to do that, you should use the uh, average days between transaction graphs. So basically you should use the information that you have from your repeat purchasers re uh, regarding their buying habits. And that's gonna be seen in store settings general RFM points 
scrolling all the way down, you're going to see this ADBT distribution. So you get to see in here uh, what's the percentage of customers that have placed at least two orders, what's the percentage of days with consecutive transactions as an average. So for example, we um, what I selected in here is between 1 and 39 days, about 26.58% of the customers of uh, this demo account are placing a next order, regardless of it being the second, third, fourth, or so on. So this is how you know if, for example, you're going to push on that second sale in day 20, that's probably going to be way too soon for many of your customers. So use this uh, just to adjust your flow. You also know when a customer is dropping from an uh, RFM group from a recency perspective from the same RFM points and you get to see a first-time customer, recent customer, so a new passion or an apprentice would have recency of five. And you will see in here what does that mean in terms of days when they had their first or second, basically last order placed. So coming back to the flow, we want to have the first email where we try to eliminate that buyer's remorse. And then we set a time delay, uh, let's say of um, two days. And then we send out a second email and we have another time delay. Um, let's say in the second email, we would have um, getting started, some social proof, uh, maybe in the third email after, let's say, three more days, three to four more days after. And I'm not going to delay until a specific time of the day. I'm going to send another email. And that's going to be, could be like a check-in email. Um, it could be um, some more educational material, depending on the type of products that you um, are selling. It could be loyalty program benefits and uh, details about uh, subscriptions. Maybe if you have a subscription-based model, could be anything like that. And just add time delays in here up until the moment comes that you offer an incentive and uh, just try to get that uh, second purchase done. Another time delay and choose this by uh, deciding uh, based on your average days between transaction distribution and have the email with incentive. That's email four. That's going to be your email with the incentive. If you still have time until the customer gets out of this RFM group, you can decide if you'd like to send a follow-up email for that. One uh, great idea would be to ensure that you don't send emails asking or offering an incentive right after a customer just placed an order. So you would want to avoid keeping customers in uh, any flow if they just placed an order. So for this first purchase flow, since you're uh, offering so much valuable information, I would say keep the customers in the flow, even if uh, they placed another order, let them have all that information. But maybe before sending the email with the incentive, just make sure they didn't place another order in the meantime. So another thing that you could do in here would be add a conditional split. Let's do the split first. So I'm going to select what someone has done or not done. Since this uh, account is connected to a Shopify shop, I'm going to choose a Shopify metric placed order. Um, and I'm going to select zero times since started starting this flow. And I'm going to save this. If 
This is correct, so they haven't placed an order at all since starting this flow. They're going to be receiving the email with the incentive. Now, you could do the same, uh, add the same thing again afterwards, after a time delay of another uh, few days, and just send a reminder for the incentive. If they go on the no, then they just uh, exit this flow. So they just probably enter a different flow, and that might be on this side. The um, RVL delivered orders count doesn't equal one, so it equals two since they're a new passion. And for this branch, you're going to select uh, also some emails with some time delays between them. And again, uh, you would want to just reinforce, just create a stronger connection and uh, uh, create more brand awareness and ensure your customers know about all the benefits of uh, being a customer, maybe in your loyalty program or having a subscription and so on. And that was the onboarding.